let's just start things off with a bang. Probably going to be my favorite outfit of the video because it is my one and only true queen, Hyuna. It just felt like the perfect song and aesthetic for her ever since she left Cube Entertainment and has been showing more of her personal life through social media. This song just felt like a very genuine representation of who we've seen her become. Every wardrobe change in the music video, stunning. Every stage performance outfit, stunning. I just... I'm obsessed with her stylist team. Like that would be my ultimate dream job would be to join her stylist team because I swear I already share a brain cell with them. Like my fashion sense is very, very similar. A floral dress felt like a definite must. And of course, teaming it up with my beloved white cowboy boots. I practically live in these babies. This is very much the sort of thing I would wear if I was going on a date with my boyfriend, probably minus the lace turtleneck at the moment, just because because it is summer, but I did think it'd be a nice touch for this look to add an extra texture and layer. I think hair clips probably would have been a more accurate choice, but I'm obsessed with this velvety pink headband at the moment, and I thought that it actually teamed up really nicely with the rest of the look. I feel like all I need to do is throw on my little white crossbody bag and then just skip off into a sunset picnic. One of my absolute favorite groups, we're talking like top three, although to be perfectly honest, you could name off like 10 groups right now and I'd be like, yes, same, they're in my top three. Make it make sense. But we are talking about N Flying. I think they are terribly underrated. Along with all K bands, really, they just need to be shown some more love. Wouldn't necessarily classify them with some of my other fashion kings. <laughs> So I'm not taking inspiration from the stylist concept, rather just kind of taking the song, doing my own thing. And the one I chose was Hot Potato. Hot potato, potato. AKA, I am gonna dress like a potato, but make it cute. I mean, I don't really have words other than this is literally the poster you get with the album. <laughs> For the outfit, I stuck to brown and neutral tones for obvious reasons, probably. For the base, I just started with a plain turtleneck and tucked it into this plaid skirt. The skirt is from YesStyle and it is one of the best quality items I have picked up from there. It's super thick, so perfect for fall weather or if your winter is kind of mild, you could definitely style it up with tights as well. And then to play around with the silhouette a little bit more, I threw on this super oversized cardigan, again from YesStyle and one of my favorite finds. But do be warned when you first receive this, it literally smells like a hessian sack. Once I did manage to get rid of the scent, it became one of my most worn items from last year's winter. With this short and baggy sort of silhouette we had created on the top half, I decided to streamline the look with some thigh-high beige boots that really elongate the leg. And then of course, if you're a regular here, you know I love me some accessories. So I topped it all off with this cute little beret and matching bag, and then also just some simple gold jewelry. Hello, it is I wearing a plastic shirt, so you probably already know where this one is headed, although it could be going one of two ways, I suppose. But I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Mamma Moo is probably my favorite girl group ever. 2019 was most definitely their year to shine, and I being the Hwasa trash I am, loved her solo song, Twit. She's obviously known for some more controversial fashion choices, I suppose, so obviously wanted to embrace that today by wearing a plastic shirt. Surprisingly enough, I would not recommend this shirt for people experiencing 33 degree weather like I am today. Um, getting a little sweaty in here. <laughs> I decided it'd be best to keep the rest of the look fairly casual, so I slipped into my favorite pair of ripped wide-legged jeans. These just sit perfectly for my taste, and especially when you team them with a really chunky pair of shoes. So these pretty much have nothing to do with Fossa, but I absolutely adore them. And just a little tank top styled underneath the plastic because obviously, um, you know? 
Originally I was thinking maybe keeping it even more simple with white, but I think that the pop of purple was quite complimentary. Believe it or not, for once in my life I thought I best not over accessorize, so I went with some dangly earrings, a shoelace belt, and if I was to wear it out, I would just throw on my little white backpack. Mm, that's so sticky! <sighs> Let's move on. Okay, next up I'm doing NCT and let me tell you this was a difficult decision. Y'all know I am indecisive at the best of times, but I have so many NCT songs in my playlist. Even a lot of their older music, for some reason when it comes to NCT, I just never get sick of it, which is kind of rare for me. I feel like when I really like something, I overplay it and then eventually I find myself starting to skip it more regularly. Whereas especially, and you can quote me on this, when it comes to the seventh sense, I will never, ever, ever skip that. Open your eyes, each and open your eyes. So you're probably thinking, wow, great segue to the song she chose, but no, didn't choose that one. Instead, we are going with Boss. I mean, the title pretty much sums it up. You feel like a boss and I want an outfit that embodies that. To achieve that level of boss bitch energy, I think the most important thing is feeling comfortable. And when I say comfortable, I don't mean like comfy, wear sweatpants that you can take a nap in. I mean something where you feel comfortable that you're expressing who you are and thus feel very confident in it. I think that is absolutely the key to radiating boss energy. So with that being said, for me, my go-to is a pair of funky pants and I chose <laughs> these bad boys here. Clearly top-notch flexibility there. Yes, bitch, work. The pants pretty much dictated the color scheme for the rest of the outfit. And then when it came to outerwear, I felt like it was a no brainer. Blazer equals boss lady. I love the oversized silhouette on this one. And I think it definitely leans into that unisex vibe we have going throughout. Although I wasn't taking any inspo from what the boys were wearing in the MV or the stage performances, I did still take a little bit of inspo from Taeyong. Here's my bias and I think he has sick personal style and I think the key to it is kind of just quirky accessories sort of and just like a mismatch of different types of styles. I'm not usually much of a beanie person but I do think that this completes the look perfectly and is definitely very on brand for him. We got the bum bag, some silver chains and of course my chunky shoes. They just give you that perfect little boost of height. Red Velvet Psycho is perfection. Everything I ever could have wanted and then some. It is my favorite title track of theirs and I don't think I'm ever gonna get over it. song is A++, the styling is just phenomenal and let me tell you when Irene said original visual, I'm a reason, a visual. For my outfit I just wanted to look like I fit in with that like rich bitch aesthetic as an extra member or even as like a wardrobe change if we had of gotten more stage performances. And by the way this is head to toe things I already had in my wardrobe but had never paired together to create one just extra look probably would have been more useful if i recreated it when the song first dropped because it is very holiday party new year's eve glam to stay on brand i have this feather trimmed skirt and also this pearl accent detail on my bodysuit i feel like from far away it might look like i just have like weird spots all over my body but on the close-up you can see that they're pearls and in person it does look really pretty for some reason i can't actually remember what shoes they wear but I decided to put my own twist on things with these little mesh socks and then these platform 90s heels. I can guarantee no one would be dancing in these. It literally feels like you have bricks attached to your feet. And of course, finishing it off with hair and makeup, it is pretty obvious who I was inspired by. My bias, Sulgi. I am rubbish at doing hair, but I tried my best to do some little space buns and then some glittery tears to finish it off. You know what? You probably can't even quite guess it. Am I twice in Feel Special? 
No, I am God Seven Lullaby. This outfit could definitely be tweaked to fit a few different concepts. Like I said, twice feels special if you kind of style both pieces separately. Also, when I originally picked up the shirt, I was inspired by BTS's season's greetings for this past year. And also, if you style the shirt completely differently, I think it might work for AB6 as well. God7 was one of those groups I just instantly fell in love with, and Lullaby was actually my first comeback with them and one of my favorite title tracks up until recently, and I feel like you calling my name might just beat it out. On top of the fantastic music though, for my particular taste at least, I would say they are the funniest boy group. Like, if I'm having a really bad day, I can count on putting a funny God7 compilation video on. 10 out of 10 would recommend to improve your mental health. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the actual look though, and Lullaby is a very sweet song. Sweet to me. So I feel like the pastel colors they styled them in throughout the music video fit perfectly. They also carry those through the album as well, the Present You album, and I just think it is stunning. Clearly that was the main focus for me while styling my interpretation. I knew I wanted to go for a two color combo rather than just going for a monochromatic pastel look and just keep the overall vibe quite soft and sweet because although it is a boy group concept, I feel like it does have a feminine touch to it. So I stuck with more flowy and silky fabrics and even down to curling the hair in a soft wave. Not gonna lie, for shoes I was kinda stumped, but I ended up going for white boots and some little glittery socks just peeking out the top. And in the end, I do feel as though I fit in with their album photos quite nicely, just like a gender bender role reversal. I don't really know. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> also, before I let this one go, honestly, I mean, I love to hear everyone's biases from every group, but particularly, make sure you let me know on GOT7 because this is one group that I cannot for the life of me choose a bias. I thought I had settled on Jin Young, but, uh, JB man, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but everyone in that group, hilarious, talented, visual, no choice but to stand. I have been dying to do some form of recreation of XXO ever since Obsession dropped. I absolutely was indeed obsessed with this look. I thought it was such a cool concept. <laughs> This ended up being kind of a mismatch of key elements from different members and then turned into a girl version, I guess, since I did decide to style a skirt instead of trousers. I decided to match up the skirt and boots in this ultra high shine PVC fabric, which was quite prevalent throughout a lot of the costumes. For a pop of color, I had two main choices, either yellow or red. I decided to go with red because it is one of my all time favorites to style and I just thought it looked so sick. I even took a bit of makeup inspo from him as well. Well, but mine's a little bit dodgy. It is nine o'clock at night now, so let's just not get too close. But overall, I am so happy with how this outfit turned out. If I was going to an EXO concert, this is totally what I would wear, but can't actually relate because no one ever comes to Brisbane. Even in general though, if you guys are going to any K-pop concerts and you're kind of stumped for ideas on what to wear, I would just turn to the group you're going to see, choose one of your favorite concepts they have done and try and put your own twist on it, see what you can come up with, with what you already have in your wardrobe. I think that's always a really fun way to go about it. I wanted to throw in a sneaky little giveaway at the end here and I have two albums that have been sitting here for the longest time, so they're kind of old now, but I have 80s with their Wonderland comeback and then Blackpink, Kill This Love. Kind of dusty because it's been sitting there so long, but don't worry, they are both still in their original wrap, so sealed, all the goodies inside. I'm gonna be so insanely jealous if this has a Wu Young 
photo card in it because that is the only 80s member I am yet to collect. If you guys are interested in joining this giveaway, then leave me a comment down below letting me know some of your favorite songs on your playlist at the moment. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and actually leave your handle in your comment down below because that makes it so much easier to contact the winners. And also, I guess this time around, you should probably let me know which one you prefer to win because I don't want to accidentally choose two people who want the same album. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.